Jean Francois has given me direction to find a silver door. There is a secret bar in Quebec City, and I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go try and find that. All right, I'll, I'll show you what it is. Here we go. We're gonna go find the secret silver door. Check out all these old stone buildings. I wish it was daytime and outside right now. All these old stone buildings are absolutely beautiful. This is Quebec City. This is what I came here for. It's a really great old Victorian and European vibe to it. It's a beautiful, beautiful city. All right, that's my hotel right behind me. Literally right across the road from my hotel is this speakeasy bar hidden 250 feet on my left, about 200 feet on my left at this point. So let's see if I can't find The destination it. is on your left. All right, so Surrey says that I have arrived. And all I have here, there's 375. 345. To find a light, follow the saint to the site, for it opens the door to the kingdom of the angels. Clear the Jacques. This is definitely the place. Locked. Where's the buzzer? JJ. All right, I totally cheated. This uh, this fine lady at the pizza store gave me directions. Okay, now I'm going down some back alley. I'm totally backwards. We'll see. I do see a buzzer there. There's 341 and a buzzer. It's a Jacques. Gotcha. Bonjour. How do you? Uh, English? Anglais? Yeah. Uh, Jeff from the legend sent me. From the legend? Yes. So you had a reservation? No. No? No. So this is a Jejoc. Uh, yeah, I found it in the back alley. And they escorted me to the bar. There's one tiny seat at the bar. There's three seats at the bar in total. This tiny room in the back. I'm a little afraid to do some video, but I'm gonna try. So bartender's choices are going incredibly well here. Yeah. Bartender kind of didn't have any answers for me. They did have a really cool men, but I should probably have perused it first before I drop the proverbial uh, bartender's choice. Because now I'm the asshole, right? Uh, but I love challenging it. It, it, it sparks conversations with the bartenders, and, and I like it. Um, I'm too afraid to be the jerk sometimes. So so the guys here, but it's super cool little spot. I mean, this is the closer if you're out on a first date, if you know what I'm talking about. So you have a, a rye whiskey with bourbon, so you have okay. both of them. Uh, you also have sweet vermouth, dry vermouth, and uh, enchilada yes, is a chili liquor. All right. With angostura and uh, orange bitter. Wonderful, thank you very, very much. I well, greatly appreciate it. Drink Frank, thank you so much. As you heard him say, we've got uh, rye whiskey with the chili liqueur, my Antel Rays, and a, a really cool Nick and Nora glass. You got a really, really cool spot here, man. Cool. All right, I'm a sucker for a speakeasy, you know that. Uh, I, I love checking these guys out. I, I think they always do an amazing job. And this one is no different. It's Jacques uh, 341 around back, all right? So they probably don't want me to give that away, but you gotta go around back to find the place. Uh, really cool. Frank, had, uh, Frank took very good care of me. 
uh, asked me a lot of questions and uh, found me the perfect cocktail. Uh, but on this one, I think you should order off the cocktail menu because the cocktail menu was really cool and I think I missed out on that. So on to the next one. We'll see you soon. Pretty crazy stuff. And so what they've actually done is they've taken a bar. Well, there's a beautiful front door on a great busy street and they just reversed the bar and they made the back door the front entrance and the front entrance is, uh, is closed off. Pretty amazing, pretty fun stuff, thanks. And this is probably be the last spot of the night. I think it'll be fun to watch these videos back and watch me get more and more drunk as I do these videos. All right, we'll talk to you soon. William and servers help me out here. Uh, they show me the, the English menu. So, but he's going to leave my experience. He's going to grab some uh, some eggs and some sashimi. And I've got a cocktail on the way. This is a quail egg. So wish me luck. Hi, I'm Julian Bézida from Alouza Gaia in Quebec City, Canada. So this is uh, La Tuc Orange. Uh, it's Amaro, uh, Mezcal, Pineapple, Suboctor, and uh, I own it on the top. And uh, see on the legs. So cheers. Seaweed flakes, I love it. Cool. Merci beaucoup. So here we go. Oh, it's very good. It's got mezcal in it, so it has that smoky flavor of the mezcal. It's, uh, it's quite nice. It's very refreshing. The smokiness isn't isn't like in your face. It's just I can taste it as a line across my tongue. But, uh, otherwise, I'm getting some citrus notes, and, and the pineapple is very nice. I really love this line of seaweed flakes. How perfect at a Japanese restaurant you know, we have seaweed flakes across the top of the foam of a cocktail. It's awesome. And these uh, these quail eggs, well, I gotta say they're pretty interesting. A uh, real egg texture on the inside, because I guess it's an egg, right? Uh, they look like olives. A little bit uh, of an olive texture on the outside, but it tastes like an egg. So it's just little tiny boiled eggs. The whole world's going crazy with these Nick and Nora glasses lately. Uh, a number of my cocktails tonight alone, maybe it's just a Quebec thing, but uh, the Nick and Nora glasses is the new cocktail glass. It's a cool little spot. It's in, uh, I mean, it looks like it's under construction, but I think that's just how it's supposed to look. It's, uh, it's really neat and very lively. Everybody in here is very lively and having a lot of fun and, and uh, chit chat. And of course, I can't understand the word of any of it, but everybody's having a good time. And, uh, the streets are quiet, but the restaurants seem very busy, so... I'm Vincent, so uh, this is my cocktail. It's uh, made of uh, Bacardi, uh, 8 years old, uh, so it's a dark one. Uh, right. uh, also made of uh, Ancho Reyes, so, which is... Um, uh, uh, sorry, pepper liquor. Right, yeah. chili pepper? Yeah, chili pepper liquor. Uh, also, there's yuzu shu, which is a sake uh, macerated with uh, yuzu. Okay. Uh, you got some uh, grilled rice syrup. You got some uh, bitter rice syrup. Yeah, yeah, grilled rice syrup. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and, and also, you got some bitters. You got chocolate bitters. Oh, I like you chocolate. You got some Sichuan pepper bitter. Okay. Uh, How do you make rice syrup? Uh, so basically, I take uh, white rice okay. and I take uh, grilled rice. Uh, I make it macerated uh, during like 24 hours. Okay. And then I mount it like a simple syrup. So uh, one and one, uh, uh, the, the rice water and sugar. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's and pretty cool. On top, it's uh, it's uh, gochugaru pepper. It's uh, it's uh, again uh, chili pepper, uh, and you got uh, some uh, uh, pepper here. Okay. Yeah. All right. Cheers. There you go. I got to uh, learn number two. A little uh, rice syrup. Syrup made with rice. Let's give this cocktail a little taste. Mm. Oh, that uh, that eight-year-old rum. Very nice. And we've got the chili pepper. Look here, the ancho reyes. Again, just a little soft touch of ancho reyes. The last drink we had at ancho reyes as well. Uh, at, the, at the last place, that was a whiskey and ancho reyes. 